Yes, the England captain, Kevin Keegan, has made a pretty good start at bringing back the glory to 2nd Division Newcastle. He filled the ground at St James's Park to near capacity and rounded off the afternoon with the winning goal against Queen's Park Rangers. Some fans had queued since two o'clock this morning to share in the Geordie football revolution, which has revived memories of the great days of the 1950s. England's new manager, Bobby Robson, was among the near-capacity crowd of 36,000, double last season's average gate, and there was absolutely no doubt who they'd come to see. But the expectation of the Newcastle fans was probably matched by Keegan's nerves, playing in the famous black and white for the first time. And Queen's Park Rangers, in all red, had the better of a dull first half. However, Keegan's undoubted skill and determination showed through. Some fans, though, just couldn't control their enthusiasm on this big occasion. And then 15 minutes into the second half, the Tyneside dream became reality. Keegan finishing off from 15 yards to give his new club a 1-0 victory over QPR. The goal and the response of the young fans were clearly to Keegan's liking. Oh, well, if every day's like today, then uh, it's your next season. we're on the honeymoon at the moment, but I hope the honeymoon lasts forever. It's, it's been tremendous. Really enjoyed it. It's been a, if they've enjoyed themselves half as much as I have today, then, then I'd be well pleased. Steve Elliott of Preston scored the first hat-trick of the league season in their 3-2 defeat of Millwall. A more dubious honour went to Paul Garner of Sheffield United. He was the first to be sent off in the league in the new crackdown on professional fouls. A 16-year-old, Perry Suckling, was called on by Coventry to keep goal against Southampton. They had new signing England keeper Peter Shilton on show. Youngster Suckling kept a clean sheet, Shilton didn't, and Coventry won 1-0. In Scotland, international winger Gordon Strachan scored four, including a second-half hat-trick as Aberdeen thrashed Dundee 5-1. And Charlie Nicholas produced the same goal tally for Celtic in their 7-1 League Cup drubbing of Dunfermline.